Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. The general recommendation made is always buy a saw before buying any other piece of lapidary equipment, before buying, you know, a polisher, cabbing machine, whatever. And generally I agree, but let's, uh, let's say you really just want to polish a rock and maybe you don't have the money for both machines. Well, we're going to be uh, only working with the polisher today, and we're going to see what we can do with this. So, what we have here is a piece of quartz, and that green is epidote. And, well, we kind of have a flat side there, don't we? So, my plan is uh, we're going to be polishing that face right there. And uh, to do that, we're going to have to flatten it. We're going to flatten it just like that on the high-tech, all-you-need flat lap which uh, I've done a lot of polishing with, and it is a great flat lap. Also, um, I'm posting this on the 25th of 2020, at which point High Tech does have a sale going on. It's their Black Friday sale. So if you're on the fence about buying something from High Tech, now might be the time to jump off that fence and uh, make a purchase. Um, I am a affiliate, so... Uh, you know, there'll be a link down below, and if uh, you like what you see here, maybe go over there, check them out. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you'll be as happy with it as I am. So let's, uh, let's start on this. We're going to be going through all of the stages. So uh, we're going to be spending more time, of course, on the 80 grit, because we're going to be uh, flattening that out there. There's a little divot, so uh, just kind of start on it, and then once we get to the point where we can start going up and you know, 180 on and on, uh, it goes a lot quicker. So, so I'm running the pump. So, uh, I just plug it in, I'll get some water going here. Kind of do about, about that for the flow. I'm running this in my house. So it's nice that the equipment's quiet. Let's just get at it. Kind of start to see now where we're hitting and where we're not. That really didn't take very long and you can kind of see as I rock that and it catches the light, the spot that we're going to be polishing. So uh, it's kind of a, a, going to be a, a fun just little window into the piece. Now this is by no means an uncommon shape for a rock. I certainly find plenty of stuff that kind of has a flat enough face. And it only took me about, oh, a minute or so uh, on the 80 grit to get down there. Uh, I picked this up. Well, I believe actually Sarah was the one that found this um, on the Yellowstone River in Montana. There'll be a link right there to that video. So let's uh, move up a grit and uh, keep going. That's going to look really nice when it's done. Just finished up with the 180. So when you buy these, you know, it doesn't come with an 80 grit sanding disc. You have to buy that separately and uh, it's super, super worth it. You know, if you're cutting with a tile saw, I would say it's even more important. Let's just look at this dry here. That's at 180. I would say it's even more important if you're cutting with a tile saw because you're going to be putting those deep grooves in. And uh, having the 80 grit pad really does an excellent job of, well, getting all of those marks out. You do really want to be careful and double, triple check that you got those grooves that you're going to be putting into your rock with that 80 grit out with your 180 before moving on because, well the softer grit pads, they're just not going to get it out. So uh, we're at 325 right now. Vibrations because, uh, well, my table. <laughs> is my favorite grit. That's uh, 
blue uh, water. <laughs> 1200 is my favorite grit. Uh, you can kind of really see how how your polish is coming along here. There it is dry. You can see how different that looks. I think uh, we'll move on to 3000. We're going to clean it up with the cerium oxide and uh, should hopefully have a nice wet look to that. And uh, we can take that out in the shop and look at it up close. We are all done with that. So, a couple of things. The high tech flat lap does not come with that 80 grit pad. You're going to have to order that in addition to it. But if you're not buying a saw or maybe you already have the saw, the 80 grit is so, so worth it. I wish, uh, I wish it came with the 80 grit. But you can see here how flat we made that. That is uh, dead flat there for sure. And you can see. That epidote now. See that polish came out beautifully, and you know this. You could definitely find uh, other river rocks that you could flatten a face out on. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna have to wrap this up here. But uh, definitely go check out a uh, high tech site. They they put together great equipment made in America. Awesome people to deal with. And uh, they got a lot of different things up there on their site. So, you know, um, I wish I had found them a long time ago. If I could fault them for anything, it would be uh, not uh, marketing themselves better. Because, uh, you know, I looked at, I think, a ton of different companies to uh, get lapidary equipment from before, uh, you know, going the high-tech route, you know. That's just my take on it. I'll be doing a full uh, review of their equipment in the coming months once I've had it for a while and they've really really put the put the miles in on it but um anyways take care everyone and uh I won't be posting a video between now and Thanksgiving so uh have a happy Thanksgiving everybody